iPood Mini. This thing is the devil. It's a pain in the ass to open and has a tiny battery, but I have a plan to fix it. I'm going to make the world's first iPod with a removable battery. So here's the plan. First, I'll remove the important iPod parts. Then I'll design a new body that I can pop batteries into, like a Game Boy. I'll 3D print the new body and if it all works, combine all the pieces into a new iPod. To pull this off will take design skills, electronics know-how and some mild precision. You might be wondering why make an iPod with a removable battery? Let me show you the hell you go through just to access the battery in this thing. Now let me show you how you access the battery on this Game Boy. To find out if this was even possible, I hooked up an iPod to a lithium battery and it actually worked. Now this looks terrible and might burn down my house, but it's just a prototype to see if it worked and now I can round up my parts and work on a new design. I'm truly terrible at sketching. It looks fantastic and I wish it was me, but it's not. So I'm going to share with you my three step process on how I design and make things. It's a horsey. The first step is to make a prototype. It won't work and it will be wrong. So the second step is to fix what's broken. Every time we run through this, something's going to get fixed. So the third step is repeat the process. Now we're in this loop of design, print, repeat. Eventually we go through this over and over and over and we'll escape the cycle until we're left with something that does work. So I just finished assembling this thing and although it's super thick, it does look really cool. I went for black and white because I thought it would pop a little bit with the click wheel. The one thing I haven't tried is will the USB-C port charge it? So I'm pretty sure the original cable will work. Genuinely haven't tried this. It's sinking onto the computer. So that doesn't, that's not broken. So now I'm gonna try plugging it with the USB-C cable in the top. Some of these boards are a bit funny about smart USB-C chargers. Hmm. 
it's not coming up as charging. I think it would be charging as it's hooked up to the iPod battery. It might just might not just be registering it. I might try one more cable. I'm gonna find a dumb USB-C cable and charger. And this is about as dumb as they get. It's a one in everything. Let's see. 